Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. If you're truly loved to see you the mad high load, the first is how we just be playing Fallout 2 boxes. Man, don't cute as fuck. This is dirty and all around neutral guy. Now, I suppose it is time for us to return swiftly to Novak. Wherein we will talk to an old settler. If you're planning on staying a while, the Dino Delight's got plenty of room. Thank you for the information. Oh, and here's a friend. You're not many, Vargas. Welcome to Novak. It's not very exciting here, but the people are friendly enough. My engineering skills have been coming in handy, too. I've got plenty to do. Thanks for telling me about this place. You're welcome. What's in the terminal? Manny, you made the right choice, putting us up and keeping it quiet. This weasel's, this weasel pen has been twitchy since we stole that package from his boss. Making me nervous as hell, but when I found out we'd be passing through on our way to Boulder City, I was sure we could count on you. Let the other cans say what they want and know where your lot is. One day you'll remember where you belong and your brothers and sisters will welcome you back like you never left. You know where to find us. In the toilet. Misty. I wasn't actually expecting to be able to just snoop about like that. But it worked. That did sound very nice. Hello. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Uh, no. Come back soon. No. 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 Do you have any luck with the ghouls? I'm counting on you. The ghouls are no longer at Repcon. Really? Unbelievable, man. I knew that wasn't going to be easy. But I had a good feeling about you. You look like you've been through a lot. Let's talk about something else. Sure thing. How do you like to explode? Yeah, see ya. Um... That was not the answer I was expecting. I didn't need that. Do I want to explode him? No. Probably not. That would be fun, of course. Cliff Briscoe's Bungalow, Ranger Andy. Who's Ranger Andy? Sir Andy, sir. We haven't met yet. You must be new in town. I'm Andy. What do you do here, Andy? Right now, a whole lot of sitting on my keister and counting cracks in the ceiling. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. On better days, I help keep the peace. Boone and Vargas watch the road. I watch the town. Tell myself I'm doing some good. You're with the NCR, right? Was. Was with them. That was back when my arm and leg used to work better. I still like to pretend I'm a ranger, though. I'll check in with the guys up at the station pretty regular on the ham radio. Sometimes they stop by, tell me they're paying their respects, the smug bastards. They haven't been responding to me last couple days. I guess they got tired of hearing me talk, but it still got me a little worried. Hell, listen to me talk, like some damn mother hen. Would you feel better if I checked on your NCR friends for you? Uh, no. No, they're gonna think I'm having trouble letting go. They're good soldiers. I don't give them enough credit. Then about the rangers. They're the NCR's finest. A one-man platoon, each of them. You got a job where even thinking about it would scare a man senseless? That's when you bring in the rangers. And if you see a squad of veterans, guys who are in their black armor, well, you won't find a more beautiful sight. Did you do something to your neck? Yeah, twice. Actually, the first time, it was more like half my body. Knocked me out of the Rangers. This time, it's mostly just reminded me how useless I've gotten. What happened? A few years back, we get a tip that some Legion slavers were holed up in this burnout house a few clicks from where we were stationed. We get there and it's deserted. No sign anyone's been there. I mean, nothing. As we're leaving, I hear something behind me. I turn around and there's this kid, just skin and bone, and he's looking up at us and he's scared half to death. Been hiding in a closet. 
Mais il dit. I go to grab him out of there and I notice he's holding something in his hand, something metal. He shuts himself back in the closet and that's when I see the grenade he's left by my feet. They do it a lot, the Legion, using kids. They know we'll hesitate. Anyway, that was the first time. Second time, I fell down those stairs in front of the motel, just in case I got to thinking I'd put it all behind me. Your body is injured, not your mind. You're kidding yourself if you think you're useless. Huh. People don't exactly line up to find out what's in my head. Can't remember the last time someone suggested I knew something worth knowing. You know, maybe there's something I can do for you. Since you've gone to all the trouble of flattering a crippled old soldier, there's a move we have in the Rangers for knocking an opponent off his feet. Save my butt a bunch of times, maybe it will for you too. Let me show you how it's done. Oh, nifty. That wasn't exactly what I was, had in mind, but, you know, that's cool. That's really nifty. Real nifty indeed. Whose motel room is this? Dun, 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 sleep. Oh, I cannot sleep by trespassing. Dun, dun, dun. Mushroom, are you the only one living here? Don't you dare fade out, Mushroom. Come on, shine. Good Mushroom. Good Mushroom indeed. What's in the first aid box? Stuff. Nice, I like stuff. I don't want your vodka there. Or do I want your pre-war books? Or do I want this teddy bear? No, do I want this other booze? Yeah. No boost for me. That was Manny Vargas's room. We already checked that. We also... I think we also checked the... This place. And this place, right? But we did not check this place. And that's okay, because there's no one here. Um, whoever was here though, um, I don't think they were my kind of person really. What's the scalpel? I don't need the scalpel. I don't need the psycho either. Why am I picking this up, stuff up? I don't need the chat. Most certainly don't need the cigarettes. Um. I don't think that whoever was in here had the best fate waiting for him. Hmm. Where is Spoon? Where does he live? Man is friend, I mean. Surely he lives in the neighborhood, no? Does he have his own house? There are houses around. One of them seems to have a door. Might be someone lives in here. Hello, person. Went out and accepted NCR rule. Some people will do anything to feel safe. That is still not actually accurate. Also, thanks for the cap. Just you know. If that had been accurate, I could have skipped the whole business with the sheriff, you know? Oh well, I guess some people say anything to remain nice and confident in their uh, superiority towards other settlements. Does it look like there's anyone here? Oh, they broke in the toilet. No. That must have been some poop. Some poop indeed. I don't need your food. Okay, there's another house here. 
The McBride House. Who are you? Hey there. In from out of town, ain't you? Name's Dusty. What are you doing here in Nowak? Oh, I tend to my ranch. That's about it. House, I tell you. I don't get out a whole lot. I heard you've been losing livestock. Losing don't describe it. It's a massacre. A few more days and there won't be nothing left to lose. Tell me about you. What do you know about the attacks? Every night around midnight, Alice and I wake up to some crazy hollering and gunshots. You'd think the world was ending all over again. But it's just one animal each night. They don't take it or carve it up or nothing. Just leave it there, all full of holes. Let's see if we can catch any whoever is responsible. We'd be grateful, especially if you find them before they get my whole stock. But don't go getting yourself killed over it. Alice and I'll find a way to make do. Always have. Did you get a look at the attacker? Beg your pardon, mister, but them two-headed beeves ain't worth getting shot over. Not to mention what would happen if half of what Nobark says is true. Best we can hope is that whoever's doing this will move on or get tired of it. I just hope it happens while we still got animals left. Whoever it is, I don't think they're from around town. Seems like they've taken to shooting from the west side. See ya. So long. Look who's here. It's me. Do you know who I am? What brings you here? How did Nobark get his name? I'm not sure who started it. It wasn't a very nice name, but he took to calling himself by it, so we all had to. I don't even remember what his real name is. Anyway, I think it comes from that expression that people say when you're crazy, that not all of your dogs are barking. Poor no bark. Uh, what can you tell me about the ducks on your ranch? Well, it's the strangest thing. Last time it happened, I could swear I heard someone cry out for help. Sounded like a big fella. But when we finally got up the gumption to go look outside, all we found was our cattle. And I know what they sound like when they get upset. I can't imagine what went on. Dusty can probably tell you more about it. What do you think of the people who live here? Oh, we keep to ourselves for the most part. Try not to pry. I think Jeannie Mae gets bothered that we aren't more sociable. But it's just our way. Ain't that we don't appreciate what she's done, managing this town like she has. But I worry she feels that way anyhow. Not that there ain't others who pry around here. That no bark was skulking around our yard last week. <laughs> I thought he was our cow killer. Was about to lash him with our bull whip till I saw who it was. He's harmless though. Part of me wishes I could see things like he sees them. All full of mystery. I just wanted to meet you. Hi. Oh, well, I'm Alice. And you've already met my beau, Dusty. He's sweet, ain't he? I don't care what my mama said. I know how to pick him. We set up this ranch years back when Novak was just getting settled. But now, with all the danger on I-15, folks are starting to come through here from all over. Novak might just be the next Nevada boomtown. Nice of you to visit. I don't have any nukes to boom your town. Oh well. Hmm. Don't dead, Brahmin. Don't dead. Let's see if New Park knows anything. Get up here. Get in the bin. No bark, are you in there? No, that's just a button knife. You wouldn't think that I'd confuse the two, would, I, would you? Howdy. No. Neither would I. But there we went. No bark! No, that's a settler. No bark! And no, that is a no bark. You've seen them too, haven't you? I can see it in your eyes. I knew I wasn't the only one. Uh, is there anything interesting happening in the area? Folks will tell you that they seen ghouls up near the rocket factory. Sensationalist hooey, cooked up by superstitious yokels, seeing phantoms of their own imagining. <laughs> what do you think is actually at the factory? Ghosts. Kami ghosts, who don't know they're dead. 
hoping to steal our rockets so they can fly up and paint the moon pink and draw a Lenin face on it. I've seen one of them disappear and reappear before my very eyes. Although, being a scientist, I have to admit I might have just blinked for longer than usual, what with the shock of seeing a commie ghost and so forth. <laughs> What's been going on in town? There's been things of a disturbing nature going on at the McBride Corral. Seems every night one of their herd meets a most unnatural death. And always there's holes all over the body. Work of the chupacabra, the livestock vampire, says Nobark. But they don't pay no mind. Too many holes, they say, and there's bullets in them. Well, says Nobark, we got a chupacabra with an automatic <laughs> weapon. And that's when they get real quiet. <laughs> what else do you know about the death at the coral? I come face to face with the chupacabra himself one night whilst I was investigating whether this gecko was hiding his treasure from me. He was the meanest, ugliest chupacabra you could imagine. Had two heads and fangs down to the ground. Best I could tell anyways, since when he come up to me he was invisible. Had himself a blunderbuss, what would rotate and shoot bullets real fast out of a backpack. Never seen nothing like it. Walked right past me having an argument with somebody. But I only saw one chupacabra, so I guess the other fella had to be invisible too. Only more invisible than the other one. Why did they call you no bark? Because they know I ain't just barking here. What I say is God bite, because it's the truth. Them quack doctors can say what they want about all the rad scorpion stings that done pierced my skull. And I know what I seen. Okay, see ya. If anyone asks, we never spoke. We never spoke. Right. Then, no. Uh, I think this is probably the most reasonable solution to the predicament. The predicament. I intend to find myself in which is waiting until midnight which is six hours away I think we may have saved the check oh no we haven't I was really hoping we had saved the situation, but that is not the case. Me there, strike! On the bonus side, he does not appear to have a minigun. Wait. What are you doing there? Come back here. Not killing any cows on my watch. Well, the screams of Brahmin. Uh, I guess he worked alone then. Let's see. Misk. Nighttime sniper. Do, 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 do. Storage room safe. Do, 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 do. Shipment update. Do, 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 do. Car hospitality. Midnight ranch attacks. Does him cry wants you to look into the nightly shootings of his livestock. Which is. La, 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 la. Hmm. Most of what is recorded here is a mess of incomprehensible psychotic gibberish. It seems to express a general frustration towards a set of Brahmin who are allegedly keeping the author awake at night by screaming inside his head whenever he closes his eyes. Oh, joy. Well, it looks like we saved the herd. Let's go talk to Poon now. He should be at his post because it's, you know, night time. And I think he may be a stealthier companion than Fox was. At least it's smaller in size, I think. 
I think. Right, yeah, probably. Let's go check it out in case. Yeah. Seems to be perfectly in normal scale. Holy shit, though, that's too large! I can't have this larger companion, he's gonna get us all noticed. You wanna see his feet? That was a bad joke, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Yeah, Viper Gunslingers. Probably evil. Guess we made it. Yes, we did. See, snipers work together. Thanks well for us, doesn't it?